Hello there. I believe this is Bill, the uh, computer owner. And I believe it's stage seven, which has to do with backups and protection. How to save our stuff from being lost or ruined. So let's bring up our screen. And let's see what we got. Computers. Okay. Let's see. Our screen is not working very well here. See if we move that a little bit. Okay, yeah. There we go. Okay, computers. Mm. It has to do with, as you can see, I'm having a little trouble. There we go. Computer safety searches, backups, and viruses. And it will be off your honor page. Remember computers, and I will be number seven. And it says here. Explain how each of the following elements helps protect a computer system. Why is computers safety so important? The first one, back up your personal information. An important fact about modern computing is that computers eventually fail. If the hard drive failure, it may be difficult or maybe even impossible to recover data that is Store on it. Forward th thinking of computers, you should keep all the important personal files backed up on external media so that when the computer fails, they still have their data. I'm going to go through all of these three. <clears throat> then I'm going to summarize them uh, back in my experience. Whole system image backups compared to a personal files backup. It is not nearly as important to backup program files because the programs can be reinstalled when the computer is repaired or replaced. However, reinstalling every problem that a computer user needs can be a time-consuming and frustration process. If the whole system is backed up, it can be restored in a short order. And the last one, I think they list here. Oh, no. Surge protection, I'm going to cover before we go to the last one. The AC power that feeds most businesses and households is subject to all kinds of dis disturbances that can be disrupted or damage a computer. Lightning strikes and uses large currents in the power line and these translate the surge down to voltage. Increasing voltage can easily damage computer. Most often this effect is power supply modules. A surge can easily damage a computer. Most often, as I said, a power supply module and, and surge protectors are designed to stop these surges. All right. I think the last one has to do with viruses. So let's deal with the first parts. I don't know why this screen on the top is acting up. There we go. Maybe it's, oh, now it's leaving. Okay, good. Backing up personal files. Backing up a system image. Or flat out search protection. Well, search protection is good to have, period. Older systems, we always made sure that surge protectors were, were sold when a computer was bought to hopefully help protect them. I think it's still, uh, most systems, they come with some kind of a protection from voltage, but a surge protector is an added feature. Some of them are battery surge protectors, which means that when the power goes down, it continues on, it has a battery built in. Others is, protection so when you get a brown out or a spike it stops that extra juice to come up and fry your little computer so how do you protect from something like that happening you back up your files regularly in the old days we used to say back up today have three copies back up today tomorrow the next day this week next week and the following week so you had plenty of backups it was a very lengthy process because floppies in the in the 80s 
and hard kind of hard floppies which had more capacity still not even not even coming close to what a flash drive is today or flash drive was 20 years ago floppies were easy but it took a lot i had a customer in the early 80s that wanted to back up their system and it was an image backup okay an image backup an image backup can't be broken. I mean, it's not like a, a file backup. A file backup is one, two, three, four, five. You've a, if you have 500 files, you get 500 back little, little things moved over. If it's an image, you get one file. And that one file consists of everything, like a mirror, which would be a lot smaller. I, an example, an image file could take up maybe two or three disks, where if you're doing it by file, it might take more, but the nice thing about file is you can continue. An image has to be done from the beginning to the end. If you're making an image backup and you have a problem with one disk, it is no good. It is very important that everything is right with an image. So I would always recommend people to do their files, data, personal, and it worked just fine back in those days. In today's days, now with today's computers, um, we just, let me bring back my, my, my lovely self to you. Um, in today's world, I don't think we really look at the size of the file. We look at the reliability of whatever we're doing, but we have, programs that are loaded onto our computers and our cell phone and so forth. And we're not necessarily backing those up because once they're installed, you just can't back it up. Like the old days, we could back up a system file and we didn't have to do nothing. We just copied on, copied off, copied on, copied off. Today, you have to configure it. You have to put it into a thing they call a register. And all this is done by software companies who write the programs for you. You can't just go in there and pull something out and expect it to run on something else. That came with the window error. The window error brought in a total different aspect. That's a whole whole chapter I can go through from the time of Windows or CPM 1 to Windows 2.1 to Windows 3.0, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, DOS 5, that was DOS 4, DOS 5, DOS 6, I don't know, there might have been a DOS 7, this is all um, dealing with, uh, of course, uh, Microsoft. And then, all of a sudden, Windows comes out, and Windows moved up all the way into Windows 98, which is still a file-by-file -file system. It means you could copy one file in, one file out, and didn't have to do anything. Then it turned into where our whole operating system was like a built-in little nucleus, nucleus little image of some sort. And that nucleus little image retained our system to where now it's a big conglomeration of unbelievable different modules. And I think they call that now in today's world, um, what is it? Um, something share, where they share the software. Um, from one location to another. Well, I believe this is very important, whatever your computer is doing, whatever you think you're saving, to always save it file by file. Because if you type in a letter or you do a homework sheet, you don't care about that word processor. You don't care about that database. You care about that data that you created in a file that will be read by these software packages. And you can always get the software package again, but you can't redo thoughts and memories of where you're at at a time you write something. Your mind is like, when it, when it comes out with something, sometimes it's not always the same. So you don't wanna lose those backup files. So my suggestion is, as I was stating here, let's go back up to the screen. As I was stating here where it says, <clears throat> files back up always personal files and i'd say once in a while like when you get your system 
or you wrote a bunch of software. And this used to be a thing we do is, and I think some of the operating systems now is they entail this as a system backup, like a like a, a snapshot of your whole environment. And and I would suggest you do a little bit of reading on your system um, backups of your personal computer, whatever, because that's a that's an important thing because in today's thing with the Google Drives and the cloud taking a snapshot of your system to save you a lot of hassle when you do a restore would be very good. So system backups are um, available, I'm pretty sure. So that would be your image. Your personal files would be put on your flash drive. Your image would be your system's backup. And your search protection is something you buy at Best Buy, Staples, to help protect a power surge. Because a power surge, you can't do much about a power, that large voltage of power coming down that wire, hitting straight for your computer. I don't care what, what kind of what kind of backup you did. It's going to fry that hardware. And then your, your software is going to have problems because the hardware will have problems. One of the last things about reason why you want to back up on a regular basis is because there's things called what they call viruses. And these viruses, they go out there and they damage your file. And sometimes you don't know that you have a damaged system until it's too late. So making a lot of individual image backups, which of course is on your computer. And if it's on your computer, I see some advertisement coming up. Let's turn this off. Um, you know, your computer... You don't know. I've had situations where you didn't know you had a virus and it moves along on through all your backups. And then when the time came, they had some old viruses of the 80s called like Michelangelo. And at a certain date, and it's on all your files, wherever it's supposed to attach to. On a certain date, it erased, started erasing stuff off your hard drive. Uh, those are not good either. So there, there's protection today for that called virus software. McAfee, uh, Norton, and there's a ton of them out there that are for free on the internet. So as this part of your honor was written, it said, an unfortunate fact of modern life is that the world is filled with evil Im <laughs> or immature, they say, people who think it is great fun to destroy data on a stranger's computer. I wouldn't want to say these kids or these adults are all evil. I'd say the task that they're doing is not good. It's not Christian orientated. Um, just because they're doing something that may be seem wrong, they may be something that's a challenge to them. And I can follow with the immature. I like how the uh, how the um, honor read in the Wikipedia, immature. Hmm. Some of these people are capable of hacking their way into a computer system and altering files, even take complete control of your computer. The computer can then be used to launch an attack against other computers. Sometimes this is done in order to install malicious software designed to it. Analyze keystrokes. When the program detects that someone is engaged in online banking or activities or modern mechanisms with a credit card, it springs into action, gathering the account numbers, passwords, which then pass to the, pass to the programmer. Once hacking was confined as a small community of immature, thoughtless programmers looking for a thrill, but it is becoming more and more activity conducted by organized crimes and rogues of government. Oh, is that a fact? And I could make a comment of what countries are behind this, but um, I don't need a liability against me. So I think the world is very obvious where a lot of problems could be coming out of. And those places that the problem come out with, the people are not stupid. They have a lot of sharp people. And um, they can do a lot of damage in computers if that's what their goal is. 
Firewalls antivirus software are designed to combat these operations, but in order to be effective, they must be installed and constantly updated. Updated. And you know, one time years, years back, years back, 30 years plus back, and we had virus protection. Usually when we put it on, it was it was good. We didn't need to update on a regular basis. In the 80s, it wasn't uncommon every single day that hundreds of new viruses were hitting the, the digital platform of our, of our software. And we had to update and update. And a lot of times, we couldn't stay updated fast enough. And people were wondering, was the, the virus software companies the one that were putting out the viruses? Because they're coming out so fast. I have to tell you the truth, I have not stayed abreast in the last 20 years of what's going on with viruses or how hackers are getting involved with it. I do my best. I keep file backups. I probably don't keep, you know, images. At one day, time in the past, I did. Uh, it's a lot easier to put your flash drive in your system, and that would be considered an external backup and back up as much of your system onto there. And if you're buying some of these portable hard drives, they got some unique software on them. Uh, and that and has been there for a while. And let's say you get uh, a gigabyte external hard drive. Get it on sale for a hundred bucks. I have no idea if that's close or not, but let's say for a hundred bucks. And you bring it home and you plug it in your computer. And the first thing it says is, do you want to back up your computer? I've had two of those that I have been able to buy for not very much. And they're kind of nice because when you put in there and you pick what you want to back up, that's a close to between a file and an image. Because what it does is it backs up all the little files you can't see, which is why images are good because they have in software these little invisible like little finger files and that that's I'm calling them figure, but but it has the, the logic that helps control the programs. In the older systems, a lot of these files were invisible files that you couldn't see. But when a, you did a system backup, they pulled those files forward and backed them up. And when they restored them, they restored the files as they are at the time of backup on top of whatever you had. And there were some complications, which I didn't go through with this section. But all I want to let you know is keep your system backed up. Make sure you have good power control. A surge protector would be good. And don't play Russian roulette. Russian roulette, I think that's the word, with your database. It could be a big mess if you lost everything. Imagine having thousands and thousands of pictures and of your family and your history and you just finish it and it's all done and your system turns off. Hmm. You turn your system back on and guess what? System error. Everything on your computer is gone gone what about my backup what what backup well, you didn't do a backup you've been too busy writing all this stuff down no backup kind of like us with god we fight and fight forward and forward and forward we, we do this ourselves and on and on and on and you know what we forget is god with us is our backup working is our main support center God with us. Make sure you do your backups. That's all I can tell you from experience. 40 years. Backups. Backups. There's never, never too many backups. God bless. See you in the next stage. Bye.